it'll be just us in the MCLB, and we are dismounting North North uh, Novo. All right, everybody, we're back, May third, two thousand seventeen. Yeah, on Yeho Rivka. Yeah, on the, uh, Myself and my man Tedish here. Round two. Uh, the That's right. MP Operation MP Open Road. And this is Squad Ops. We're a one life event needed to support community. Or at least these events are. Yeah, community for everything, but one life events is uh, what everyone's here for. That's right. We had an excellent round one, came down to a two against one. The Russians squeaked out the victory. Three on one, and then even down to two on one. Excellent snapshot, but yeah. Yes, yes. Good work by the short stack to keep it interesting. Well, let's see. We're going to get right into it. The Russians are already briefing. I'm going to... Well, they had some marks on the map for the most part. They're going to attack airfield, which is going to be defended by the U.S. So you just want me to take that, like, defilade down? They are still doing command briefing, so we haven't done a platoon brief yet. Looks like, yeah, the U.S. are centered around uh, the south side of uh, airfield. Uh, looks like we got a little discipline coming down here. Don't screw around in pre-ops. Really no patience for it. Delays everybody. So, uh, it takes hard work and dedication and coordination from everybody involved, from command to squad leaders, down to even the basic riflemen of every squad. It's a it's, no, no, it's, it's hard yeah, to just, be successful you, you if you're not three, clicking then, uh, on every you'll, level. You'll run the logics back and forth since you're going to be doing the fall. But let's go over the squad leaders and stuff and the command and everything like that. I'll start with the Russians. And we will kick it over to you after I'm done. So Russia's commanded by Lish. He's telling his guys what's going on right now. His squad leaders in no particular order are OD Tap, Shadowed Ritual, um, Satan, and Mighty. That makes sense. Uh, this is the same as round one. With the fog marks, that entire area. And we can look uh, forward to good communication and a good effort put forth by this whole team. What do you got over there? Yep, same uh, same as the first round. Looks like there's been no wanna, changes. Uh, so we got x bit commanding, and then Best Pony, Captain Matt, Dr. Kamikaze, and Nasty Nate uh, running the squad leads. Um, everyone's just kind of milling about. But yeah, um, I was hearing about they were going to hold the Humvees back, and then once the BTR is engaged, they're going to try to wolf pack them with uh, a pack of lats in the Humvees, which is a I I believe that's an error uh, because the Humvees are going to engage, and then what those lats are going to jump out and get shot before they can really engage. Oh, that's and, crazy. And then I you're going to be left We got to make sure we see it. We got to make sure we see it when that happens. That's yeah. Be crazy. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, it could work great if they can, Humvees can, oh, the BTRs are here, go drop off the lats right before they engage. But if they're on a pure hunting mission and don't know what's up, I think that's Ooh, I uh, got... loading all of your AT in one basket and probably losing it for maybe oh, it one really BTR. Is. You're right. Okay, we've got a squ uh, platoon sir? briefing coming up. Lish oh, is about to lay down the... The lowdown. Okay. So we're gonna turn it up. Let you guys hear what the Russians' plan is. When Lish talks it out, he hasn't quite started yet. But as soon as he goes, welcome to round two. Here we go. Last round was interesting. Only lost by like two guys. Big shout out to Short Stack for the mad flanks near the end there. Appreciate those flanks. Very good flanks. Ten out of ten flanks. Um, overall, though, good work. You know, we gank, we killed like two vehicles anyway. But anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's let's beat them this round. So I mean, you're pretty set on the idea of the plan uh, in terms of we've got to take airfield. Um, I'll just go straight into detail of what we're doing. So Squad One is going to be operating the MTLB NSV. Uh, their full squad as well as Squad Two are going to be mounted up in that. The first point uh, or phase one position will be uh, Hotel 7, Keypad 1 area on the friendly fob mark. Uh, all infantry will dismount there and proceed to push south into Central Novo. The MTLB will hang back and just keep quiet uh, until until contact is made in Central Novo, basically. Um, 
infantry going to try and push through through all of that area and get into the buildings and uh, get near the other side of Central Novo before they even know we are there, hopefully. Uh, from that point, the MTLB will be able to support from roughly I-10 and the northeast of Airfield and just wherever uh, Squad 1 and 2 need it. Squad 3 are going to be taking a BTR-80 um, and they're going to be dismounting roughly maybe Delta 9, Charlie 9 and moving through the defilade. I'll mark now with a friendly fob mark uh, just so you know where that's going. And then their infantry will dismount there and move through the defilade directly towards the airfield from the northwest west. Uh, they'll be mainly there to support the other squads coming in and then uh, push across the airfield from the west or reroute to the north if needed. And then the BTR that they're with will support from the west. There's a tip of the hill there in Foxtrot 11. I'll mark again uh, that you can see. It's a good position for that to overlook from and cover that west side of the airfield, I think. They'll be able to do that from there fine. Squad 4 pretty much doing the same, but from the south. They're going to take a BTR-80, same route as Squad 3, but further south. They'll dismount on the south side of the airfield on the BTR mark and push infantry up, uh, from south up towards airfield from there, using smoke, using defilade, using the trees between there and there. And just generally uh, surrounding airfield, the brunt of the force is going to be coming in from north and northwest. Um, as soon as we do, as soon as we breach there, or when we breach there, um, that's when the squad on the south will be starting to do most of the work. When most of the enemy's guns are facing north, uh, they'll push in from the south, I think. And uh, that's how that's generally going to go. If they have placed the fob on the south side of the airfield, which they can, uh, we'll generally do the same idea, but uh, just shift it down a little bit. We'll have squads pushing in from the north, northeast, who are pushing in from the north, if that makes sense, um, and using the east, basically, uh, that east defilade. And then the other squads generally pushing in from the same areas on the west and south, if that makes sense. Are there any questions? Nope. Alright, SL's going to break it out in further detail on uh, what your squads are doing. And then we'll get ready to go live. Up. Good luck All right. Time, Let's just done briefing them. It looks like they're going to try and push around to the south so side, which could be wait. really so interesting because... My idea that's is exactly US where the U.S. are. Hit. Yeah, they're, uh, they're putting... It sounds like they're putting the radio in the hangars on the southwest uh, corner, and then most of the defenses are going to be in this uh, southeast. Oh, nope. Uh, Looks yeah, like the radio's in, in this little. little... You... I don't, uh, I don't know, what, what do you call it? Storage area with the little Connex boxes. Radio there, defenses oh, around it. They're also sending, it sounded like a squad to airfield and potentially another squad to Central Novo. So. Yeah, could have a similar. Uh, Similar setup initially, but it sounds like the Russians are coming around the south side. Of course, totally different. The Humvees, we'll see if they uh, hide in the back and wait to engage like they were planning on. Ooh, can we see who's loaded up in there? That can definitely be a game changer. The, those vehicles, what they do early on, and, and you know, the, the Russians had all three vehicles and they destroyed both U.S. vehicles last round. Put the U.S. at a severe disadvantage early on. So looks like we got to probably see the caution, and like Xbit said, they're gonna keep you know far away. Oh, is that their plan for the vehicles keep those far away? Oh, I, was, I think that's what uh, Xbit said on the U.S. Right, keep them back a little ways. Yeah, he did a pretty good job of that initially, and then uh, they got antsy and moved in. I heard. I heard one of them say, oh, oh, we got a green light, and then they crept in, and then 30 seconds later, they were done, but, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pugachev, looks like he's gunning. Silverman's driving. That's OD Tap Squad. They're all loaded up in one BTR. Hmm. And shout out to Jack Reynolds and Burns here, driving Lodgy. Just try to mask it along that. There you go, yeah. Border. Someone's got to do it. Heck, let's give a shout out to the cameras first too. You guys are going to see a lot of first-person perspectives during this this operation. And it sure as heck ain't me and Teddish. We're flying around an admin cam, 
So Tedish will read off the list he read it before. Oh, Got to bring it up again here real quick. FYI. On your take uh, on let's the see where that go. We'll even give you a quick FYI, sneak peek of them all. All right, so we've got, of course, Muff and I flying around in the sky, and then Crazy Russian. Followed up by Mr. Han Solo. Does anyone have any questions what we're going to be uh, doing? Uh, let's see who's up next. Xbit, Command, that's always a good view to see. Yeah, I commands and squad leaders are always like, good no, to see. Yeah, you're like, going to hear oh, all the chatter once you're on them, all the yes, no, crazy I'll, I'll command sure comms. Uh, next up, big yes. I think it's on a bag because and, the driver uh, is the server error for 404. All right, sir. Next, you got uh, Truth Realm. Yeah. <laughs> and Shadow yeah, Ritual. And finally, best pony. Yep, five seconds. Yeah, Big thank you to all these all guys. The all these guys tonight. You know, Shadowed Ritual yeah, and Best Pony are both squad leaders as well. Oh, and we're live. And you know what? We got to give a big shout out to Shadowed Ritual because he's always been squad leader. So props to Shadowed Ritual stepping up, helping out squad lead, especially on these open events. You know, some of these guys have no basic SOTT training. We showed you the video during the break, and and it's hard for some of these guys to keep up, and they're a little timid when playing. And so it takes a little extra patience from the squad leaders to help teach these guys and and get them involved and keep the you know keep the immersion there with them and, and help them remain tactical while they're still. Nervous and scared, you know that you get scared in these operations sometimes. Oh, for sure. Especially when the people around you start dying. What am I supposed to do? Yeah. Uh huh. Let's see. So we got a full squad heading up to Central Novo. Big town for Looks... uh for nine people to inhabit here. I love this overhead view. You can just feels like an RTS. Maybe a drone footage, right? Oh, it looks like the U.S. or that. Yeah, it is. It's totally drone footage. They're going to be pushing. Well, they're coming around the west side. Like they're yeah? going towards Central Novo, but I think their ultimate goal is to get to the south side of the airfield. MTLB is plum chuck full of guys. I have a feeling they might try the same thing we did. It's happened most times we do it. So just be aware of possible contact around Central Novo, trying to avoid the flag so they could go out either far left or far right or something. I must say they've really done a good job with these maps. I remember when they first started with uh, Yeho and and uh, the other big maps. And I was never a huge fan of them just because... What well, can I say? I like the infantry combat better than the vehicles. That's a personal thing. And uh, the infantry combat just wasn't very fleshed out. And now I really like uh, the compound combat. Especially in like around, around storage site. That's a, that's a great place to fight. I love it. Oh, yeah. It is really good. Yeho, we've watched Yeho develop, Gordok develop. Uh, Fool's Road has had changes. Almost every map has had changes made to it. We've seen new maps introduced. Kokan, Albasra. A uh, Gordok was new at a time. Oh, no. Well, they just made it what twice as big, just about twice as big. So pretty much a new map. Yes, very fun map. All right, we've got some instant infantry blade bailing out way, way west. They're a long ways out. It's the majority of OD Tap squad as well as the commander Lish. Looks like there is a uh, one scout up in this oh, it's pair of scouts up in this uh, short little uh, tower at the base of the airfield. Oh, that's command, command of truth realm. I right, yeah, believe advised that uh, building to less than meet or meet itself was. Also, scout. the MTLB is pushing in. Looks like from the north of Central Novo. There's still. 
Heck, they're still almost a kilometer west. north in central Maybe. Novo, though. Lots of guys on foot. I think Mighty Squad is the squad that's going to head to the south side of airfield. They're really cruising in that BTR right now, and they are way west. So we got the two Humvees actually off the map, off the grid scale, hugging as far south as they can. So that could that could be an interesting... Uh, oh, yeah. They if the BTR is engaged, this might actually work out. We may get to see that first. Are, is there a U.S. squad in Central Novo? Yes, there is. They are mostly on the west side, a little bit on the north. Oh, wow. Well, we might see contact there. This BTR is currently running straight towards those Humvees. Yep, they if are. If you can see it coming. It's got a, a full squad here. of dudes, too. A full nine-man squad. Oh, the U.S. is dismounting, getting ready for that ambush. See if they can hear him yet. Oh. X-Bits just spotted him. All right, the Russians are starting to bail. We just got Merrick 362 and Hammered Hebrew. I got you guys, I got you. Nasty Nate charging and Actually, everyone's one. gotten out. Hammered yeah, Hebrew is in the gunner's seat, that's it. To our southeast. Oh, yeah, southeast. I'll, I'll move a little bit. All right. So position in the BTR for better aiming. That's perfect. Yeah, it's spread out here. That's better. And the Humvees are still moving a little bit. Yeah, they're moving. I feel like the Russians might have Copy sensed it. They're, they're fanned out in a perfect one near enough to for engaging from that from the U.S. direction. Like it couldn't be better. Well, other than the trees in the way, but uh, nice five-man spread with the heavy assets behind them. Oh, this vehicle's coming oh, they in. Oh, they hear the Humvees. Northwest, about uh, another 200 meters, then start coming north. Is sitting in. Fox 12, oh, they've got to hear this thing. They've definitely got the ears on it. Yeah, they do for sure. Mighty just reported it to command. Oh, they can see it. Hyper just called it out. Gaming Brennan's having a hard time seeing. Did Hyper call out the BTR? No, he called out infantry. Called out infantry, and now they're backing the heck out. Driving around, getting a better angle on that. I think Hammered Hebrew hears him. He's looking the exact right direction with the BTR. Uh, all squads, we got eyes on one squad leader to our west. You might want to get the engine to stay safe. Copy that for them. I that other BTR I spotted. Oh, here we go. The Russians just saw it, for sure. Yep, he, he started shooting. He saw yeah, it. took a few shots. Oh, run straight into a tree. They're clear. They didn't see him. But the shots are fired. More infantry coming up from the, from the other side of the Russians, from the east. Go ahead and disengage if you need to. Oh, the U.S.? Wow. Yeah, BTR got some hits. It injured some of the. Uh, Someone getting gun. Someone getting gun. Oh, did some it? Wow. Soldiers. Yeah, two of them, or I guess just one of them is bandaging. They do have a medic with them, so that worked out. All right, we've got contact up at Central Novo. Squad, they walk into us. Copy that. Oh. Spread out, guys. If you need to retreat back out, we've got your eyes looking north. Change seats. Lat, stay down. Uh, F one, two, three, F two. Yeah, the F. They're looking for that uh, BTR. We'll let Ted stay the, down in the south. I'm going to lat out north here. Towards central yeah, yeah, you want to go cover that? Yep. It's Tripsy. You need to move in. Don't, only pop a smoke. Only pop one smoke. And then keep moving. Keep moving. BTR You're on that tree line. Move east. The, uh, dismounts, they probably got two lats. All right, everyone on this tree yep. line. On short sack. We're moving. Yeah, we're moving east. Squad 2, where is that? You contact that, uh, I think the Russians are just hanging out down here, kind of stalled out. And then move all the way around all right. to the right hand side. Smoker needs out by the Russians. 
I noticed the U.S. were falling back a little bit. Dr. Please Kamikaze is their up. squad leader. Keep moving. Ooh, back in the south. Oh, BTR is engaging the Humvee. Snuck around their back. No, excuse me. The Humvee. They're engaging each other. The U.S. was just firing uh, on BTR themselves. Oh, no, really? That was pretty bad. I'm not That's sure who was, who was firing that. Uh, the BTR got a piece of it, too. One BTR is oh, on fire. Oh, Dr. Both Kamikaze goes fire. down. We just saw Dr. Kamikaze goes down. The MTLB, MTLB just takes out someone else, too. Not sure who. Crazy Russian is also down. That MTLB in a good position. Mary Android takes out, too. That was a squad leader. Shadowed Ritual. Or, no, not Shadowed Ritual. Dr. Kamikaze. Good shooting. Both Humvees are incapacitated, more or less. This one's got... Let's wait until they see if they get him. Uh, yep, there goes one Humvee and Kahuna trying to one-man that. Uh, we just lost our squad lead and, uh, so for the most part, the uh, U.S. lost command in the north. Yeah. At least their squad leader in the north. You probably expect them to start falling back. They did just get lit up. They are running really fast on foot. Shadowed Ritual is leading the Russians in. He smells blood, so he's going in. Stopped at a building. Letting everyone catch up. Probably regaining stamina. US are fleeing though. They are getting the heck out of there. Squad four set right. Yeah, Roger. One Humvee down. There's like at least a squad down here. We're actually gonna push up to the airfield while they're out of position. So is one squad uh sorry, is one Humvee down? My one Humvee is a hundred percent dead. All right. Uh, the other Humvee was on fire, but it's still up. Looks like the Russians are finally piecing out. They have both hum both BTRs up, although one of them is wounded. I'd be surprised if the U.S. mount up all the way, because they know they're uh, two shots away from death. Yeah, and there are two BTRs down there. Yeah, there's two BTRs down there, and they definitely know... That was an interesting friendly fire incident, though. I mean, I realize why it happened, but uh, yeah, there were a lot of trees between the two Humvees, and BTRs fire started firing, and contact southwest really ended up costing the U.S. some casualties. Due yeah. To it. The the Russians have all but taken. They have all of Central Novo for themselves now. I'm backing up. It's Got a good line formation on the northeast side. In the meantime, Shadow's Ritual Squad is in the middle. The MTLB's patrolling to the north. Keeping their distance really well. Dropping infantry southwest of the airfield. MTLB, pull east, pull east to the road. Copy that. Copy that. MTLB slowly creeping up. They're actually falling back a little bit. Mighty, awfully exposed. They, Mighty reported that he was actually going to move into the airfield. Yep, he's he's in it right now. Oh wow! They they breached the southwest corner. Copy that, Reed. It Looks like the uh, BTRs. BTRs. Uh, can definitely see. Oh yeah, he's lighting them up. He's those sandbags. Crawl, crawl, crawl. No, I notice BTR a lot West of the U.S. soldiers are away the from their fob too. They've right, got that northern right. compound where the U.S. Very took it last well. round. It's on the south hangar. All right, squad. But there's not a lot back there. If they they don't have room to fall back either, there's no cover. There's no defilade. There's barely any concealment as they fall back. Yeah, this could be really tough for the U.S. here. So, yeah, it's gonna take a conscious effort ahead of time <laughs> to make it back to those to the fob location in the building. Are they still Command. running Logi? Command for US is uh a little exposed right here. Hiding yeah, are, from the, that are tower. the US still running Logi trucks? Uh, what do we got? Nope, looks like they've dumped their Logi. BTR firing. In on those sandbags. The Russian swarm is coming in again on the U.S. Oh, and that second BTR just saw command. Yeah, we have no shot at BTR. It is. Uh, Are they down? Golf 13. Someone is down over there. I think. Oh, yep. Command is actually U.S. Low. command is down. 
U.S. command is down. Oh, X-Bit takes one. Truth on the alone. last one in that He's tower. all alone up there. He's cowering. That's not going to do good. Or at least for him. He's There's nowhere for him to go. You know? Yeah. They, they don't have a lot of defenses, really, is what I'm seeing. So it's... It's going to be brute force, and it's going to be hard because their Humvees are so damaged. The one's gone, the other one is hurting really bad. Well, the Russian BTRs have taken hardly any any fire at all. The NSV, or, yeah, the NSVT hasn't been hit either, the MTLB. The fob point. Command just went down for we the U.S. Lish sure, is uh, down. So both down. teams nice. have lost their command. Uh, we can do it. That always makes things more Never fun. mind. Never mind. Oh. This is still alive. If you, if you I think someone's squad leader went down. Squad back to the, uh, the objective because we need the second squad to help man all the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Mighty went down. Mighty went down for squad four. Hebrew is taking his place as command. Uh, he's already stepped up and acknowledged that, so they're going to keep pushing in. Yeah, they're in a tough position here in the southwest. I mean, they got good cover where they are, but as soon as they step out, it's like, here's an open field. Oh, there's, a US, there's a U.S. squad behind them, too. Oh, yeah, they do have those guys. Pushing oh, they're slow. finally moving, yep. The BTRs are just raining fire. But this BTR behind doesn't know what's up. American hammered Hebrew. I mean, this squad is... in. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Now it's... Uh, Two two infantry dropped. Blank Which spaces infantry and went hyper. down? Is that U.S. infantry? Yeah, U.S. infantry. Oh, and Nasty Nate. Is he down? Yeah, they got caught in the open. Nope, Nasty's still open. Still up. Well, never mind. I spoke too soon. Why did I say it? <laughs> Goes down. Okay, so one and two. Nasty yeah. Nate is down. I'm at the BTR. Pugachev is lighting up the building. Way out there. Keep up nine. He must see some. Oh, he did. He got somebody on the wall. I don't know who it was. So far away. Good, good shot by Pugachev and the BTR. They're way Where, back here. If, if it looks too open, we'll push three round far south. They'll come direct south of point and forward push from west. Say so again, Command, you want squad one and two in the MTLB. Yeah, that's uh. We what we're seeing this round compared to the first round is so much more spread. Both teams are spread out so much more. Whereas the Russians went in, you know, 90% of their team from the north with some BTRs on the east and west. They now have a, soldier, a full squad to the north, a full squad to the northwest, a full squad to the southwest. Got their BTRs also spread out and an MTLB that's running around as well. Now, where is that MTLB? I haven't heard him at all. It was up north. He, he, they got a couple of those northern guys for the U.S. Yep, way off to the east. Up there was Squad 1. Satan's running the show up there. Satan's there in Shadowed Ritual. So Squad 1 and 2 are both northeast. Are all our homies down? Yeah, U.S. guys, run across the runway. Talk about it in the open. Gosh, Lish is leading the way into the runway. In the meantime, on the south side, a crazy Russian. D mind, uh, magnetic, magnetic. I mean, uh, uh, looks there, like upstairs. Oliver something or other, and Centurion are all there. Get the high ground. All right, the U.S. soldiers are going up into the. Oh, Lish is firing from the north. Yeah, they got firing from the north to the south. OD tab firing as well. Little Jin. He's got an assault rifle. So they pinned a couple down. A couple made it up yeah, into the tower. Oh, yeah. underneath the tower. And there's still a BTR west. Yeah, Truth is alone up in that tower, south. but. I mean, didn't take it out yet. And Lish has gone down. Command is down. For real this time. Oh, here we go. Looks like uh, Magnetism and Demic are gonna come out and see this. Oh, they're in the in the bunker. Never mind. Big bunch of Russians, just a whole bunch of them. A one grenade bunch of them right there on the outskirts of this, just right on the edge of the airstrip. 
Cool Breeze is lobbing some grenades. There they go. The U.S. is starting to fall back. They, they are actually falling back to their Alamo. And hey, Alex, like that northeast there's flank. Nothing. They're, they're One so they lucky. They're so lucky. They're, there's nothing the to cover them, but the Russians don't see them. Is so it's working out. Anything leaving the airfield. Fig Who's... is really causing problems for him. Fig's Sounds all by himself. Sounds like they're blowing transport truck. Oh, looks like a BTR just went down. What? Where? Oh, no, that was a U.S. Uh, transport, so, looks like. Never mind. You are in BTR took it down. Copy that. Gotcha. Yeah, we still got, it looks like, What's this, one BTR situation? southwest of Fairfield, one central west. And, and that MTLB somewhere in the east? Last we heard? Make sure you're, we are not Yeah, the, it is. It's... It's I'll still northeast. That, that was We've got plan, a couple yeah, squads northeast, for, uh, as a matter of fact. Reminding me. <laughs> All right, looks Satan like Satan has assumed command. The Russians are that uh, southwest squad of Russians at the airfield are moving around. Let's see what kind of defenses the U.S. has set up here at base. Uh, three, you got enemies. They did a you good job of getting back. I didn't think it was going to work out that well for them, and they really got back efficiently. Yeah, it looks like they got uh, some decent. BTR cover here a couple 50s remember hop up after a few seconds you don't want to get killed might be able to hold off that BTR that's three big factors right now is the BTRs or the yeah and the and the MTLB yeah and I'm pretty sure I took out I was like well, I wonder what he's doing up there them. Everyone's loaded up into the MTLB. Looks like the Russians are bringing the rest of their forces into the north. They're still east of Central Novo, so they're way up there. There's about 18 guys in that MTLB, so they're going to be bringing wow. the heat real quick. That's a lot of eggs. Oh, look at this Bombardian hiding in a ditch, and he's going to have an opportunity here. If he, if he can hold his own. So for the most part, what's going on is the U.S. are defending the airfield. They've India fallen tank. back to where their FOB's location is. They've got a nice wall of sandbags here. Got a couple of 50 cals placed. Actually, MTLB four of them. Southwest now. I'm gonna give you cover on that. The uh, Russians are to the southwest, in coming in, most, throwing smoke no. grenades. They've got BTR cover. for support. In the meantime, they've got another uh, squad, squad on the north running. end of the runway and an MTLB full of 18 guys that's coming in from the northeast is still a ways up. The objective for the U.S. is to defend this location. They have to defend the airstrip. They can't build on it. That's why there's no buildings on the airstrip because they expect an arrival of a plane or an aircraft of some sort. And the Russians' oh, job is to prevent that. They want to come and take this airstrip from the Russians. Uh, yeah, from the them US. off a little bit. BTR Southwest. And yeah, there's the U.S. FOB uh, right in front of me. On the, uh, looking towards the east. And they're going to defend the it as best they can. The other is on the east. Got a little 50 cal BTR action versus BTR in the uh, south here. Oh, there it is, too. Hans sitting down on it. There were two 50 cal. Oh, he's lighting him up. A little short, a little short. They're definitely playing the shoot it twice and get the heck out. They're hammered. Hebrews lighting them up. Once we get to the road. That bombardier driving backwards. He's in. He, man, he could. Uh, he could really. One grenade, maybe a couple kills here. Is he a basic rifleman? I'm not sure here. Oh yeah, Notorious Big Smokey, you know it, and we're going to incorporate mortars in the future. We just didn't have enough time, there a lot of busy stuff going on this week for a lot of people, so we didn't have time to update the operation to jive with 9.4, but you can bet your butt you're going to see some mortars and and new vehicles, you're going to see IEDs, oh, everything's going to be, excellent. what a, what a rocket, was that yeah. mock, torch mock? Torch mock, yeah. Good rocket, back them up. Super realistic to be stand firing a firing a law from a ladder, but you know, readying another. Oh no, he's got his rifle out. 
Here comes that BTR around the corner. Oh man, their BTR is just south. From North Airfield. Ready to light them up. OD Tap still got his squad in the north end of the runway. Hammered Hebrews got his squad on the west side. So that Cameron Hebrew went down. Our BTR is just... Oh, he's in the BTR, never mind. Yeah, BTR is just just dare in the US. Like, please, show me your show me your face and I'll cure all your ills. That's Hammered Hebrew at the gunner seat. Wait. I want to say the U.S. is out of lats, or they definitely oh, know this thing right too. there. Oh. Torch mock peaked, and Hebrew is waiting. Since they mics back there, there's a few guys behind the sandbags that are just asking for trouble. I see three people with lats. The question is, do they have any left? He's watching that ladder. Don't get on there. In the meantime, the U.S. are still coming from the north. I'm sorry, the Russians are still coming from the north, and they're uh, MTLB. <laughs> the Russians are crawling up the west, the southwest. Just crawling up that bank. Oh, he's good. He's good. Bombardian finally falling back. Sees the oh. opportunity to run, and he's doing it. I guess that's smart. Hold on, huh? Personally, I love being behind lines when they don't know you're there. So oh, so fun. do I. So stressful, but, but it's so much fun. The flank that keeps you on edge. Uh, no, Guar, they are not. You, in, we do have certain operations where, like, vehicle repair stations can be utilized to repair vehicles and rearm vehicles. I don't know that we have a single operation where a, a soldier on either side of the team is actually able to reload and use an ammo crate. It definitely emphasizes the the importance of utilizing your ammo properly, especially with grenade launchers and lats. And Smoke grenades, grenades, everything. Their bandages. Yeah, everything. Everything. BTRs, Humvees, some of them, most of the time they don't get a reload out of it. Look at this perfect line of Russians snaking their way through the grass here. Like a snake in the grass, just quiet. <laughs> They could. Uh... Yes, it does, Gore. That's an important part. Yep. And we have seen people run out of ammo before. We've seen people yeah, run out of ammo. MTLB, They're down to their pistols. Humvee, that's an MTLB, and it doesn't go pistol. well. It doesn't end well when you're outgunned like that. A it's pistol Hotel against 11, a saw, you're not going to do a lot of good. I wonder how many pistol kills we've had in squad ops. This, my guess would be one hand total. Uh huh. Mine too. I think I've got one, but that was because I was being attacked, and I ran out with my initial magazine, so I switched to the pistol, and I got a lucky shot and dropped a guy before I died. This PTR is causing these guys a lot of stress. Holy here. cow, the, the Humvee is to the east, and it's actually being, it's harassing the Russians. Is that what's up there? Okay. He looks like yeah, he's got two full squads surrounding Humvee. him. Yeah, that's the US Humvee. Actually harassing. Make, it scared the MTLB away. The MTLB is runaway. And Satan's got his squad actually trying to take a little cover. Oh, MTLB's Humvee's positioned. bugging out. Humvee is uh, oh, running right through, oh, right past man. this Russian squad. MTLB barely saw him as he was scooped through there. Look at that, just buzzed right through. Amazing. What a gutsy move. Wow. So for the U.S., we've got the Rogue Humvee driving around being a terror. Fig just just hiding in this like mortar pit thing. Oh, he's been up there a while, too. I think he's the one that killed Lish. He's just hiding here. And then we've got a little enclave. Mary Android taking side. shots at the Humvee. The Humvee has been spotted. It looks like they're strafing. Just doing strafing runs through there. I can't tell from this distance if, if Mary Android's hitting or not. But the Humvee has been has eluded them. I think, honestly, the Humvee is just scouting them out. He's just like, go through at top speed, 
get them to shoot at you so we can get some kind of uh well that's gutsy right there i'll tell you yeah what. driving through something like that hey it's still i mean it's it could be worse the russians don't have any lats or anything but still that is just dangerous especially for the gunner yeah that the that poor open top gunner Right, they're reloaded. Let's see if they make another run. Rusty Snipes and uh, Gaming Brennan. They've actually convinced the Russians to fall back. The entire infantry that was in that field making a push has fallen back. The MTLP is now about the closest Russian group. Besides the entire two squads in the north end. It's like Humvee is bugging home. That's probably a good move by the Humvee. Get back there. They, I'm pretty sure they've taken some shots. He's gonna come harass this uh, BTR over here. Right, yeah, they've called out the BTR. All right, Satan Squad's gonna have no problem moving in from the north. OD Taps moving in from the north. A lot of open area though. A lot of open, just open area for them to run. Through. There's that BTR. Humvee should be able to see him if he turns. If he looks. Wow. Come on, Gunner. Head on a oh, swivel, man. buddy. Head BTR's on a swivel. On a wide open road. Head on a swivel. BTR is moving up the road now. And the That's BTR is focusing all its efforts on the actual FOB oh. location. So that Humvee could come in from behind. Oh, they take another Two rocket. Enemies right outside your gate. On your We're trying to take They're calling this out, but. There we go, now they finally Merrick, see him. Merrick gets out, Hammer Hebrews in there. Oh, Boom, there it goes. it's gone. Shooting Only that took corpse. a couple shots from the 50 cal on the Humvee to take him down. In the meantime, Merrick's gotten out. Poor Hammered Hebrew got taken out. And the US are still in their Alamo. This entire squad to the south has actually been eliminated. Has it? I Merrick was just about is to the say. last one, yeah. Oh, and he's getting shot at from Bombardian. You let out an expletive in local. Advantage. I'm clearing out this. Bombardian sitting in his cute little spot. He, he did a smart thing by getting behind those uh, concrete barrier rails out there on the runway. Yeah, I saw that position earlier. That was a nice little uh, little spot away from the action. Yeah. Humvee just doing... said, "Oh my God!" about four times in a row. <laughs> oh gosh. Sometimes you just know the action, the cameras are going to be on you, you know? He said it again, more eats kid is just, just looking just over that little ladder towards him. <laughs> We're going to see. Oh, there's the BTR from the north. The U.S. is looking north. Merrick's oh. not. Merrick's not going to move, though. Fig in his pit. Finally bit it. Here lies. That's a good run, Fig. That scared me a little bit. Alright, the 50 is shooting on up Face north down. the airfield right now, so. Uh... It looks like he's got a full Russian squad. MTLB, India, 11, and then another half squad 11. behind them. So this is pretty much all that's left of the Russian forces just coming from the north, northeast. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mer Fox Merrick hasn't and moved. And He's scared shitless. He's Hotel just saying, oh my god, not moving. <laughs> he is close, though. I don't blame him. He's in a rough spot. He won't even look, and that's not a bad idea. He's got a bunch of friendlies up here. Hody Tap says his squad has thrown one smoke each, so they've all got one smoke left. But it's such a wide open area. So at this point, the Russians have no vehicles, correct? Or is that MTLB still hiding out there somewhere? No, the Russians, the Russians do have an MTLB. Where is it exactly? It's to the northeast, out there behind Squad 1. It's Satan's squad's in control of it. And Satan is also the command. He's assumed command. So it's one vehicle on one vehicle. Looking at kills, it's 16 to 16, so we're pretty yeah, even. I'm gonna want you guys playing. If not exactly. 
If I had to give this to someone right now, I'd give it to the U.S. Uh, though, unless uh, uh, I mean they have a defensive position and they actually have a little you know fire team in the northwest that can give them great eyes and then uh, suppress anyone that's coming in. Get a bunch of kills. They got a nice elevated position. As long as that MTLB doesn't light them up, that's a great position up there. Exactly. Yeah. Copy. Yeah, Humvee, good job, by the way. You, th you're doing work right now. It's good work. Yeah, man. Yeah, one hit my ass. <laughs> yeah, exactly, no, right? Really, Those sandbags can be pierced by... Uh, pierced yeah, by the MTLB, I'm sure it can I'm pierce them. Pro driver, man. They do have a lot of HESCO. No, no, I'm just saying, okay. I think it's funny. I know, right? Merrick. Yeah, like, doing uh, a little okay, Merrick check, he's still there. Mission, I believe like, he no, just pulled out an explosive device. A lot as an asset. He decided to pull his gun back out. I can use a trench right here to get to you. Copy that. Hold there for now, though. Where's that Humvee? To your east. Of oh, yeah, Remick. No we wish you were here, too, it's man. To the west. It was a full okay. operation, yeah. too. It's, dry. it's to the west of us, driving south and north. So we actually, uh, some people yeah. got turned down tonight. This was the open operation for everybody interested. Uh, we do it usually the first operation of every month Yeah, you still have on, on a Wednesday. MTLB is only straight northeast of my position, 43, and it's traveling to the north. Uh, More Eats kids around. just snuck down the ladder finally. Squad, squad 1, what do you want uh, Squad 2 to do? Oh, looks like that ditch ditch person might get found here. Humby's going to drive pretty much right over him. I guess he's probably okay. Oh, going back to Merrick. Here we go. Oh, oh the oh, Humby parked right, right next to him. him. Does he have discipline? Oh my word! You Take can do him it. Out. Grenade comes oh, out. Grenade. grenade comes out. Oh brilliant! Oh, he beamed him. He no beamed one, one sees him with the it. grenade. Panic! Oh, he killed it himself. Kills <laughs> himself! Oh shit! He killed himself. That no one else is... died. Oh, what? He got Centurion. He had a second grenade that he cocked. Oh, okay. So he wow. actually got Centurion with it, and he wounded the rest of them. That was <laughs> <No>. classic. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna he's gonna be kicking himself when he sees that on replay. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. He, you know what? It one of his, his nade bounced off of somebody and back Literally towards him, in the head. him, and that's what killed him. Yeah, <laughs> and he, he actually had the other grenade out, and he was throwing it when he got killed by his own grenade. So, and actually, he got two people. He got the the one guy Centurion that came up, and oh, there was right. someone else bandaging, and someone bled else out. bandaging. So. Two for one, that'll pay. That's that's payoff then. Better, yeah. He, I could have been five, I think, right there if he hadn't beamed him in the in his thick head right there. Classic. It's one of those moments we keep talking about, right? <laughs> yep, those are classic moments right there. All right, we got the Russians. Oh, it's all right, on. Squeaky Squid. I've I've done worse. I've I've uh, I've ordered I've ordered someone to shoot at a friendly. And they're like, "Are you sure?" And I'm like, "Yeah, shoot, fire, fire!" And they blew him up. All right, so the plan. <laughs> they did. It's not like they did damage. They blew him up, and then I realized right, so what I had done. Squad two, squad three. You're gonna be hitting this compound from the east here. My squad's gonna pull somewhere south with the MTLB, and we'll be pulling in from the south side. We're gonna attack at the yeah, same right. time. Roger that. And you know what? Make sure we'll throw smokes in. We can probably get you an instant replay open. on that grenade. Here shortly, but you know what? It's just Merrick right there by himself throwing that grenade, or both grenades. Probably has a lot of the attention from the U.S. focus to the south. Again. Oh, for sure. I mean, you got to be spooked. You got to be like, "Holy yeah. crap! That guy was right next to us." And like you can see, th those guys in that lookout tower, all they all ran away. They're all in the south now. Oh, it looks like yeah, they're loading up into a vehicle and heading to the Alamo. And we got the Russians coming in the ditch on the east side. Probably totally undetected at this the point. Be, uh... oh, I got some good. 50 cal, spot some Russians to the north. Gosh, and that's, you know, that's a long ways. That's 500 okay, meters away. Between me and the MTLB, they're, they're running away, they're scattered. Eh, yeah, maybe not. That's pretty yeah, close. Oh, now oh there's the replay for you. And here's a second grenade. <laughs> There's still a visual the MTLB. I mean, MTLB is turning, Humvee. MTLB is turning. Oh, oh MTLB is turning on the Humvee. Humvee is down. 
Okay, squad two for the U.S. is now being led by Short Stack. They've so, lost. Yeah. They lost Shadow Ritual. He was their yeah, squad leader. From, um, They're the ones up north. She's getting yeah. the heavy machine guns. They are being Doing severely suppressed by those 50 cals. Yeah, at least one of them. Those are the 50 cal got to kill up there. Engage. There it goes. MTLB is engaging. Oh wow, that is so far away. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it? That's like 900 right, meters. Those, uh, those guns. Single tapping there, into this. Please. I can I can actually see the right, tracer you, yeah, coming in. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. MTLB. It takes like a second uh, to get there. It's crazy. The in the meantime, part-time ninja Han Solo, Faku, Han, no, no, no. Aesthetic no. Matt, Odie Tap, his whole squad. They they're pushing down on the far east side. They do have smoke grenades left, at least some of them. Yeah, what's up? So if what? they can sneak in, they they got a good chance at, at advancing. Yeah, if they can distract them with that MTLB up there, keep their heads down, and then uh, <laughs> somehow push across this field, I guess they actually have a decent combat spacing. approach. Because these guys really don't have eyes. Well, they really don't have eyes to the east. They have a little bit. It could be worse. But so if the Russians come, yeah, down this tree line. Yeah, you see that? They could... They could totally get in there. It's almost open. Yeah, we we just got to look too. I think we were on. I don't know who we were on there. It's Han Solo, and he was looking south. They, they're in cover still. What's up, boys? It'll be interesting. How's it going, man? They're still spreading out though. Some of them guys ran back north. My squad is ready. It's Call, ready. You hold there for now. So you, got one, and you know what? Uh, what I, I hear great communication. Uh, command Call. squad leaders are You're just talking back and forth. Make sure you drop they are as soon as you, uh, positioning, getting ready I'll with each other. is going to be good. This could be an organized push. Roger, be advised. Squad no matter how successful it is, they, this is what they want to do. Uh, bots and science, there is. I think the round time limit is supposed to be an hour, but we will always make up other rules and stuff to extend the round and keep it interesting and let everybody at least die right, on guys, one team advised, or or come close to it. We want everyone advance, to get in on the action or at least, least win without having to do anything. Okay, <laughs> suppressive fire. This is your time to use your bullets, have a little fun, and uh, looks like the Humvee is on a little flanking mission here. Just kind of looking for that MTLB, looking for trouble, which uh, I don't know if that's a fight Humvee wants to take. Um, I, you know, I'm not sure either. Where is the MTLB at this point? It's off to the east side. That's pretty much where all the remaining U.S. forces are, is off to the east side. They have got a lot of open field to cover, though, and get through. In fact... Oh, that There's wasn't some a Humvee. US soldiers load up like server air 404 is still driving it. There's a good handful. There's probably 10 guys in that MTLB. They're driving it south. Golf 13 keypad 3, right? Golf 13 keypad 3, that's correct. Best Pony's calling out the time here, saying there's only 17 minutes left before they win. So, yeah, we were just talking about that. We'll see how that... Yeah, uh... people... They, they, it's, they, it's... Oh, Best Pony just Russians caught him on the east. The east. He called him out on the east side. Was that infantry or the vehicle? He just said Russians east. Well, he's not wrong. It's a great contact report. For a charge from our east. Prepare the machine guns. I need someone to come with me real quick. We're get an MG up. Thank you, Snazzy. This is going to be your They're shooting. They're suppressing him. Oh, Best Pony's throwing down a machine gun on top of this Connex box. The Just MTLB's getting pretty close. Let's see if I can't get a good... Oh. Oh, shit. MTLB! South, 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 south. Get the fuck... Prisinger, Prisinger, 
Yeah, that MTLB is coming around. You say that thing's fully loaded, yeah? Can't. The U.S. Have, are definitely hearing the MTLB. Oh, it's right on the road. Parked right on the road. Oh, Here comes a rocket. Shot. Short. Oh, barely low. Dropped off a bunch of infantry. I see oh, one, two, you can three, see four. the tracers flying off. One infantry did go down. No, he's not. He's alive. He just got run over on accident. MTLB accidentally hit a tree. What was that? Where did that grenade come from? Oh, the Russians are just they're, they're flailing towards the bushes. Any oh, sort of cover they can get. 203 firing in. That was a great 203. Yeah, I think that's part time ninja. Rocket Red smoke. Launcher. Right on top of that. This first one was dead on. Russians running up. And here we come. The big upper tier view. There we go. So there are smokes to the east with the Russians pushing in from the east. They've got an entire squad plus some in the south. That's good Satan is still in command oh. and he's still alive. That was a great grenade. Takes out Mori. And then he drops. OD tap goes down, relapse goes down. So Russians are pushing in, getting taken out. Wow, uh, Best Pony has a great yeah. little firing yeah, window I right there. here. I, there, I know they're south. I got one. All right, yeah, I know they're south. I got one. There's another one in the field there who went down a bandage. Um, he's 162. Took out two right there. All right, in the south, Satan's got his guys throwing a bunch of smoke. We've got smokes at every angle from the Russians. Doing everything they can to swarm in. Best point to just drop another one. There is just a freedom brigade, a brigade of smokes. There we got red, white, and blue everywhere. Copy that. <laughs> yeah, here, here comes the noise. That squad on the uh, east side is rushing in right now. Yeah, there's U.S. dropping right, inside. Coming, there's Russians dropping outside. This is anybody's match currently. Yeah, 19 that's... to 23 for the frags, so it's only a four-man difference. MTLB and a 50 cal playing peekaboo. Just flinging them back and forth. Russians are moving in pretty well. Yeah, that Russian squad to the south is coming in. Real close, definitely in grenade range at this point. More smoke grenades going in, so they're playing it right. They're keeping the smoke in the cover. Well, the U.S. Are oh, the U.S. are throwing grenades point. out to them too. The U.S. are throwing grenades out, giving them cover to come in. Truth yeah, drum goes down. We got Battle Yak, Brad Pearson, Best Pony, Brissinger, Coke Smoss, Nazi Yost. Right, U.S. losing, taking casualties quick here. Part time oh, ninja this. goes down. They're firing back. They're taking it to them. The squad in the south could make a huge impact here if they move up. Aesthetic Matt right here got his own little concrete barrier rail. A slight piece of, a slight little dip off the side of the road. Oh, he's got a gauntlet right of sandbags here. to go through. They're coming, direct south. Russia There's throwing grenades into the, the compound now. In the emplacement you're engaging. All right, compound is all but lost, almost. What do we got? Where Four is... holdouts. Is the oh, U.S. Shit. I need a bandage. I need a bandage. Humvee battle, 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 battle. battle. Yeah, I, that was my battle. battle. I call it. It wasn't a Humvee. Yourself. It was a transport vehicle that was driving pretty low, around. Pretty low. Ah, okay. You know what so, I see? It's it's south. I'm gonna bleed out. Yeah, There's exactly. US soldiers to the south. That transport vehicle took that squad, circled all the way around, dropped them off on the south, and right, now they're guys. slowly crawling up. They spread out in you my my eye. Yeah, too are too thin right now. Never mind, never mind. Because okay, yeah, yeah. right now, oh, if only they knew medic, how much medic, impact medic. they could have. I got a guy with advantage. Bird person, bird person. I need advantage. Need advantage for my man. A lot of it is dependent on whether they can take out that MTLB. Oh yeah, he is right there, isn't he? Oh yeah, he? northwest, northwest. North I don't know if they have a law in, in range here. D-Mind finds him. Oh, there it is, D-Mind. Just take shot. Yeah, you're right. Cool breeze. Got shot in the butt. He's turning around. Two just crossed, two just He's just firing back around. Grass. He's got the one, grenade launcher. The Husband's the medic. He's firing back. He's down. Oh, drops one. one in the middle. Wounds another. Cool breeze gets hit again. All right, any further east? Drops cool two. Cool breeze is down. There we go, D-Mind. Oh, and the... MTLB takes a law in the butt.
Ram's taking shots. D Mind is just lighting him up. He's yep, got the flank. Ram is down. Short stack is the last one crawling to the north. He just got shot once. He's oh. down as well. D Mind takes flank. out all four. Yep. Beautiful flank. That was that was a piece of work right there. Good job by D Mind. Good job by that. And whole the MTLB US, is down. That whole US. Oh, and the U MTLB is down. So now we got four Russians who are bunkering down in the U.S. bunker that is also occupied by U.S. The this U.S. Is is now <laughs> taking over the kill count. They're up by three. 29 to 32. This is a classic uh, Caesar scenario. You got people on both sides. Build a wall. <laughs> We got Snazzy Toast, Bird Person, and Battle Yak left inside. Battle Yak is hiding in a. There's sandbags and walls pipe. everywhere. There are still three U.S. soldiers in this compound, and there are three Russians pushing in. All right, Battle Yak, I gotta ask, what what are you covering here, buddy? You're just just hiding in a pipe. <laughs> what are you what are you looking at? Fear gets to be too much. What do you got, Bird Person there too, and Snazzy Toast? Go us. Yeah, this is going to be some close contact here, this bird person. It. This is it. We're down to three Russians. That's three right. versus five? Yeah. I'm going to do a quick look around. That's it. That's it. Bird person We're down to three engaging. Russians. Snazzy Toast drops Snazzy one Snazzy Toast takes out Satan. Snazzy Toast got hit. 30 Mike Mike is alive, but he got hit. Han Solo is the only one covering right now. Bird. He takes oh, out wow. Bird person. I thought I thought bird person had him there. Snazzy Toast is gonna peek on him. Is he gonna get him? Oh, he sees him. He saw he's Battle other, he gets hit. Oh, couldn't quite take the kill. Oh, he's shooting their feet. He's shooting their feet. Mike Mike goes down. We're down to Han Solo. Is flying solo. The last he's man the last standing. Man. Oh, Battle Yak coming around on him. He's got the flank. Down. And there it is. The U.S. holds. That's gonna do it for round two. Good job, good job by the U.S. Ahead, holding ahead. in. You know they they had that compound and and they made sure that the Russians had to work really really hard to get in through those open fields. That, that's what it comes down to those wide open fields. You know, there's not many of them left. Two, four. Yeah, so both games were really close. So yeah, both of them were really really close games. That turned out really well. I can't imagine what it's going to be like when we start throwing mortars into this scenario, and among other things. Yeah, mortars, IEDs, AT mines. Hell yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's let's give our quick thank yous to everybody, especially the people watching. I hope that was entertaining. But the cameras, all those camera angles you saw, we'll, we'll run through them real quick. Tedis will read them off. <laughs> as soon as I put the list away, of course you brought it up. <laughs> of course of us. Uh, we Both got of us. Crazy Russian Han Solo, Xbit, Big Yes, Server Error 404, Truth Realm, Shadow Ritual, Best Pony, Hyper Evo was on the first round. I believe he was not able to stream for the second. And uh, then, of course, uh, Muff and I as your streamers, your casters here. That's right. You know, and there's there's always this one guy that you guys never see or hear, but he <laughs> he does the work and he makes it happen. His name is Penn. So we always clap for him just a little bit. Heck yeah. Chatting in our ears, telling us what If it wasn't for be. him, this wouldn't be possible. Nobody else can do this but him. Uh, we want to thank our squad leaders and our commands, those being uh, Lish, Satan, OD, Tap, Shadowed Ritual, and Mighty, as well as Xbit, Best Pony, Cap, Matt, Dr. Kamikaze, and Nasty Nate. Of course. Uh, Can't this is Operation without, uh... Open Road. Yeah, yeah. It's and it's hard. It's hard on the squad leaders and the commanders. You have a lot of people talking to you. You have to answer a lot of questions while still giving orders and maintaining organization. So it's it's work for everybody and it's a good time and it comes together and what a what a beautiful event this has been. We're gonna let you guys go though. This was Operation Open Road. My name's Muff. Co-casting with me here is Tedish. And yeah, it's a good night. Well, we're gonna see you next time. We'll see you on Saturday. For I don't yeah, even well, know what the event is, but we'll see you on Saturday. Yeah, who knows? Might might whip up something special with some mortars. Could be fun. Yeah, you never know. And some IEDs, so be ready. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.